hello for today's video i did a poll on my instagram asking what you guys wanted to see and i got the response of y'all wanting to see a journeys experience video so i'm basically going to be doing my makeup as i tell you everything about journey don't take this look seriously please it's just me playing around with some stuff i bought thanks all right guys so i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do this i'm just gonna go with the flow I don't think I'm gonna be telling you what products I use because if you guys wanna know that, you could just watch any of my other videos. I pretty much use similar things. But I am gonna tell you about some new things that I just purchased yesterday. I'll introduce those as I use them. Okay, so I was hired at Journeys in, I believe, 2014 in a Journeys in California. Two weeks before Christmas, I was hired as seasonal. They taught me how to do everything rushed because Christmas was two weeks away when I got hired. So they ended up telling me that we have to sell a certain amount of things, which I ended up just learning how to do it. And it ended up working pretty well. I was, I'm not gonna say I was their best employee, but I was a decent employee. So journeys, their hiring process. You apply online and then you apply to whatever store you want to work at. Basically, we have this portal where we can see who applied to our store. And if you haven't been selected for, uh, I believe a few days or a few weeks, you go into a pool. So basically, I applied to uh, one Journeys, and I don't remember which one, but I ended up getting hired at a different one because I was put into the pool. When I got there for the interview, uh, they didn't tell me it was gonna be a group interview, but it was, and I was so relieved. The only reason that I knew it was gonna be a group interview is because of the YouTube videos I watched. Um, but honestly, it was really relieving because you weren't the only nervous one there. Everyone else was. So you just had to be less nervous than the person next to you. I believe there was about six people in my group. Two of us six got hired. The other girl that got hired with me quit after her like second day because it was too stressful for her. I loved it. It was very stressful because it was the holiday season. Again, two weeks before Christmas. But, you know, it was a fun job. You got to be yourself. I got to have colored hair. I was able to dress in any way I wanted to, you know, obviously without being provocative or anything like that. By watching the videos online of how journeys worked, it basically like said that they promote people very fast and they promote people from within the teams. The only way that they'll do that is if the district manager is unprepared and he doesn't know what's going on in his district or her district, I guess. And that's the only way that they'll start bringing out people from outside of journeys. So I was really excited about that because I wanted to do really good so that I have an opportunity to get promoted as a co-manager, a key holder, a store manager, whatever. So I was picked to stay there after the season since I had applied for seasonal. They asked me if I wanted to be there permanently and I said, yeah, that's fine. I didn't have anywhere else to go. So, um, and I liked the job. So I stayed there a couple months later, I got promoted to key holder. I was there for, I want to say four months when I started getting promoted and then I got promoted a couple months after that. So I got promoted within a year to be full-time. When you get promoted, it comes with a lot of responsibilities. As soon as you get promoted, you are in charge of everything and its mom. But when I started, I didn't realize that at Journeys, you are in charge of doing everything. Like when you go work at Foot Locker or Victoria's Secret, they hire different people to do different things for them. The manager doesn't do everything. Obviously, we have to delegate and give people tasks to finish everything, but you are basically in charge of making sure that everything's done. And if it doesn't get done, you're the one that has to do it. So after being in California Journeys, I want to say for a year and a half or two, I decided to move back to Chicago. I ended up transferring to the nearest store by my house, which was the flagship store. When I moved stores, it was a huge culture shock. Attitudes were different as in like there was theft, armed robbery. <laughs> I mean like it was dangerous and I didn't know. Nobody ever mentioned it to me. There was a lot of fraudulent cards. I didn't really know about any of that because in California, the store I was in was um, in a classier mall, I would say. I When I got there, I didn't know that one pair of shoe would be stolen. Um, and that was kind of like, why would they only steal one shoe? I had to learn all of that. You know, the manager had brought it up to me like, oh, I don't know if in California, this is how things are, but this is how things are here. So you have to watch out for it. And I was kind of just like, what? Excuse me? About a week into me working with that new manager, he uh, was unfortunately fired uh, for some stuff he was doing. So 
They brought in another manager. He got fired for some stuff he was doing. They brought in another manager from a different district, from a different state, who ended up leaving because he couldn't he couldn't take the stress from the new district manager because he was crazy. And after him, they gave me the store. I was not ready to run a store by myself. So when the district manager gave me that store, I, I, I couldn't say no because if I said no, he would have gotten rid of me because he basically was like, if you say no, we don't need you for anything else. Which was kind of like, yeah, you do. You still need a co-manager. Whatever. I wasn't going to sit there and argue with him. So I was just like, if I have no option, give me the damn store. <laughs> so they ended up showing me a lot of the things I didn't know. I would call other managers. They would explain things to me over the phone. District manager promised to send somebody to show me how to do things and to basically just train me to be a proper manager, this and that. Never happened. He went on vacation, never came back. He ended up quitting or getting fired. I don't know. Uh, that's a story for somebody else to tell. Me being manager there, without a district manager, getting little help, except from my friends from other stores. I made a ton of friends because of me becoming a store manager. You know, I've stayed in contact with them and honestly, it's just the soft place I have in my heart for all those people because I know the stress they're going through. So they finally brought in a new district manager. He was a big improvement from the previous district manager who called you names, who threatened your job, who told you that you were replaceable, that he didn't need you. That was a big step up from there. Basically, the new district manager was, was a dream compared to the last one, right? For the first three times I met him. And then it went downhill from there. He was worse because he set certain policies that he didn't even follow. He set certain standards that he didn't follow and he accepted other stores to not follow those policies. Which in a way, it's like that's messed up because you're showing a lot of favoritism and that's something you should not do as a manager ever. Because you don't want anyone else to lose confidence in talking to you because you're going to treat them differently than the next person. He made me write my entire team up for giving a poster away when he kept two flat screen TVs from my store after we relocated it. Um, and I got, I had to write up my whole team for giving away a poster. A poster that we throw away at the end of the visual change. So now this part of the video, I'm going to do a pros and cons list. So I guess we should start with the pros since it's a way shorter list than it is with the cons. The pros list starts with working at Journeys in Cerritos Mall in California. That was a big pro for me because it was a different management team. It was a different district manager. It was a different environment. I'm not going to say there was no theft, but it was way less than it was in downtown Chicago. That's a pro. So if you're applying to the Cerritos location, do it. It's amazing. Another pro about Journeys is that you get 40% off. You do have a limit per year on what you can purchase, but a great thing is that you can use it at other stores like Lids, Johnston & Murphy, Locker Room by Lids, like those stores that are owned by Genesco. The people you meet are similar to you. Um, we basically are a lot of outcasts people that don't really fit into a normal crowd and we are quite the characters. <laughs> if you ever walked into Journeys, you'll see because we aren't afraid to conversate with you about the weirdest things. You end up relating with a lot of the employees you hire or that your manager hires or whatever or the other store managers and you end up becoming great friends with them because of that. As management, you get free shoes sometimes. So certain Brands will say, oh, we'll let you give these shoes for free to your co-managers and store managers. And you get to pick from like four options of the brand and you can only pick those and you get them for free. But you can only get them in your size and you have to wear them to promote with the t-shirts that they give you. We get free t-shirts, but they do say journeys in the back. Like we got a ton of van shirts, we got um, back to school shirts, we got Christmas shirts, we got Adidas shirts. But they say journeys on the back or on the sides, which is like... They cute or whatever, but can you please take that Journeys insignia off? No? Okay, I'll still take three. <laughs> Another pro is that as management, we don't get paid hourly, we get paid salary, and it's basically a base pay and then whatever you make off commission. So during slow seasons, your checks are sad because you're there, you're putting in so much work and you, you don't get shit. <laughs> you don't get anything. And during Christmas season, back to school season, the biggest checks you'll see are during like Black, Black Friday and Christmas. 
And those checks are, if it were like this every two weeks, I'd stay here for the rest of my life. But unfortunately, they're not. <laughs> Last thing that I can really remember about being a good thing at Journeys is they promote for with, from within for the most part. Well, before we go to the cons list, I'm going to talk about some things that I bought at Ulta yesterday. I bought three Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter thingies. And they're kind of like the cover effects ones, except the cover effects ones are $44 each. And girl, these ones are pretty much the exact same. And these ones right here are $9 each. I'm going to use these um, as highlight some eyeshadow who knows we're gonna go crazy today i'm just experimenting anyway the cons list chicago it's because if i would have never moved back to chicago i wouldn't have experienced these horrible things at journeys most of them stem from the district manager or the managing or yeah just the danger in chicago is a really big con if you live in a dangerous city you're probably gonna deal with a lot of theft in retail and you should really think about working at journeys because they don't deal with that very well. They'll tell you, oh, don't chase after them. And then they'll try to shove things down your throat. Like, well, were you not watching them? Was there nobody else on the sales floor? Whoa, I have nowhere to go today. Favoritism is a huge issue at journeys and this wasn't only just at chicago this any journeys that i worked at you were chosen over other people to go to concerts for free you get paid working for co concerts like work tour and stuff like that if you weren't one of the district managers favorites you weren't gonna get paid there was a time where i didn't have a co-manager it was just me and a full-timer i didn't really ha i didn't have a day off at all i had to work pretty much every day that month and i was working up to 84 hour weeks and i I, told, I kept begging him and begging him to get me help to send me people to to come help me run the store so i can get a day off or for my birthday if i can have it off and he would just say absolutely not you don't have coverage and i would send him people to interview and no matter who i sent him he would say no and it was just really annoying because i'm like okay well I cover for other people when they don't have coverage for their store. Can you send somebody to come cover my store that day? And he would say no. He would send me to other stores to run their store so they can have a day off, but he wasn't willing to do that for me, which played a lot in favoritism. I'm not the type to go and just be like, you need to love me. I'm the best person out there. No, if you like me, you like me. If you don't, then you don't. Another thing that was down was, I'm not saying that we got paid very poorly, but we got, we got paid at Journeys, we get paid poorly for everything we have to do, for what we're expected to do. Which is very frustrating because when you don't get paid properly, you lose motivation to do things properly. And you find shortcuts of doing things. The district manager, another con. Make sure if you work at Journeys and a district manager's coming and you want to get promoted, make sure that you meet the district manager before you tell them that you want to get promoted. And make sure that you like them, that you get along with them and that you're willing to work for them. Theft was another downfall again it was the blame was put on you and it was just no it wasn't worth it days off you were required to work a minimum of 45 hour a week but in reality that turned into 54 hours a week and it sucked real bad because your family is like well you haven't come to a family party i'm like well i have to close my store every saturday okay i'm sorry so you better be ready to give your life up to the devil. At Journeys, um, the second store I ran as a store manager was right across the street from my high school. And everyone that applied to my store was from that high school. So everyone that applied to my store pretty much knew each other. And you're basically teaching children to work, to be responsible, to come to work on time, to make sure that they show up to every one of their shifts, show them how to just be good employees. Another downfall was micromanaging. Our district manager, he would come visit and he'd move everything around. Oh, and he'd even make you send pictures. Like, send me a picture of your back room to make sure all the shoes are off the floor. Excuse me, micromanagement? We had something called transfer outs where we would send shoes that we weren't selling to one other store that was selling them to get them out of your store, which of course, you know, that's a good thing. But when you have a hundred of them and you're a high volume store, you can't really get them done in a timely manner. But then he'd be like, Hey store, this store that you have a hundred transfers and you need them get them done by today. And then he'd be like, 
send me a picture by the end of the night from your screen saying that you have no more transfers pending. It can take anywhere from two minutes to 15 minutes per box because you have to make sure they're both the left and the right, the shoes are untagged, they're in good condition, you have to clean them, and you have to make sure everything's fine, you count them and then you, you send them out. So it's an easy thing to do but it's very tedious and it takes longer than it should because you don't have enough hands to do a hundred of them. He has a right to write us up for that. If it's not possible, how are you going to write me up for something that I'm not going to stay here past midnight because you want me to send all this out today. I can do it tomorrow also. I can, yeah, I can do it in two, three days. That's fine. One day, get out of my face with that. Back to the danger when I was at the flagship store downtown. I almost got stabbed by a guy that was stealing Timberlands. Well, I actually knocked him onto the floor because I was standing in front of the door and he pushed me and I like grabbed him by the head and I knocked him down. He was drunk. I'm not supposed to touch thieves, but he pulled out a knife on me and I wanted to get this man arrested since it was assault. So I know it's really stupid. Uh, I even, I called the police, they made a report and the police, oh my God. I know there's so much backlash going on with police right now. And, but the police that came to do the report at my store, they honestly made everything feel so much easier for me. Every day since that uh, attack, they parked outside of the store from 5 to 9 to make sure that nobody else came in to steal anything or to assault me. This man groped my boob, he pulled out a knife, and I punched him in the balls, and that's when I, he opened the door and we, I knocked him over. The glass inside of his jacket, because he had a liquor bottle in his jacket, broke and he was bleeding and he was running away with the Tims. I wasn't chasing him, but I was following him too, because I was on the phone with the police, and they're like, just keep a distance from him, let us know where he is. We were around, if anyone's from Chicago, we were around Harold Washington Library, and he knew I was following him, but I knew he didn't have anything but a knife on him, and he was too drunk to run faster than I do. He basically, the police beeped at me, and I turned around, and I went like this, and by the time I turned back around, he went into the library, and I was too far to, that library is huge. He could have easily taken an elevator all the way to the top and walked down and then got back down and left. And by the time the police went into the library, they couldn't find him. Obviously, I didn't get the Timberlands back, but I don't give a fuck, okay? My life is more, honestly, it wasn't even just about my life. It was, I didn't want somebody that dangerous walking, roaming the street with a knife that's able to stab anyone else for a wallet or for a purse. And while all this was happening, obviously I filed a report, um, a loss prevention report at Journeys, and that's it. And all they said was, okay, thanks for filing it. They didn't really give a rat's ass about my stable conditions or anything. I believe it was like a Sunday, so me and my co-manager were closing that day. He could have easily been like, I did take the day off. You almost got stabbed. Like, I was on edge. Like, we had order, ordered a pizza to eat and we didn't even eat it. Like, because I was just like, I was shaking. I was so pissed. And he, my district manager was just like, he's like, why are you chasing him? It's against my moral rights to let somebody dangerous roam the streets like that. I didn't do anything after knocking him down to risk my life. And Journeys didn't understand that. After I left State Street, somebody else got the store and... It was one of the district manager's favorite people and she got something stolen from her or something and she got spit on her face and the district manager told her to have the rest of the day off. I'm not saying that it's not a big deal to get spit on but I almost got stabbed and I just got a phone call asking if I was okay. And to me, that's kind of like, how much does my life matter to you? We have to do at Journeys something called four to the floor, where you bring out four pairs of shoes for the customer so that they're more likely to buy more than one pair of shoes. And I begged and begged my district manager to make us stop doing that because it was too dangerous to bring that many pairs of shoes out without them getting stolen. And he's like, well, you have to do it. It's policy, this and that. For the new store manager, after I had gone to a different store, he allowed her to stop doing that. And they ended up getting a security guard. How much do I matter? <laughs> but yeah, so it was just a lot of little things like that. Honestly, like I'm, I'm, I'm happy now, and I, I just feel like there's been this demon released from my life. And whether I make less money or not, or what job I'm doing, 
at the end of the day, it I can sleep at night. And it also makes me happy that I don't have to look at my damn phone all day. So if you want to work there, think twice. Just make sure you get to know the people that you're working with enough to know whether you're going to get along with them. I have a lot of things against this district manager that it's this video isn't doing me justice on why I left. And I just don't want to make this video too long. Another one off of me having to fire somebody that did something but he apologized for and the person that told on him didn't really explain that to him but he didn't care at the end of the day he made me fire him this person went back to the hospital for suicide attempt and he was just like well i don't really care he's like there's hope for that here i'm like he doesn't work for this company anymore so he can't receive that help and he's like if you would have told me i'm like it's none of your business. He was receiving help from outside sources, but at the end of the day, just he made me seem like it was wrong of me to consider somebody with mental health issues. And nobody personally came up to me and told me that they had an issue with this person. They would have, I would have spoken to the person and they would have understood why I did the things I did to make sure that this person was safe. He didn't care about what I thought was best for anyone's interest. I had to get rid of this person and he was not very stable for a really long time. I don't think people that don't take mental health seriously deserve a place in anyone's heart because those people are only interested in helping themselves and that's it. And he was only interested in helping himself. He was trying to make his job easier because instead of going the long way and figuring out why this person did what they did, he just decided to fire him and that's it. And I had even spoken with HR because they called me about it and I gave my statement and they were like, okay. And they ended up telling the district manager, it's up to you what you want to do. And he was like, I'm firing him. Anytime I tried contacting HR to, to tell them about the situations I was in with the district manager, they wouldn't answer the phone. I'd leave voicemails and they wouldn't answer. When I put my two weeks in, I did it in the most pettiest way. I put in my two weeks the day he went on vacation while he was on the airplane, so he couldn't read my message until I was, he was off of the plane and he didn't decide to tell me anything until he was back from vacation. But I did it that way so that he couldn't stop me because I tried quitting before on him and he did not let me. Anyone trying to work at Journeys can message me on Instagram and I will tell you more about my experience. Um, I will tell you if you have any questions about Journeys or any way to reach for help on Journeys, I will tell you any of that. DM me. My Instagram is polaxroid, spelled P-O-L-A-X-R-O-I-D, polaxroid. If you are from Chicago and, and you need somebody to do your makeup, I'm here for you, bro. <laughs> no, I am going to start doing makeup for people, um, freelancing, I guess. And if you know anyone that needs somebody to do their makeup for a low price, hit me up on Instagram as well. Um, you can just DM me uh, and let me know. Send me pictures of what you want and I'll give you a price. And I provide everything except for foundation. Your girl got to pay for her college tuition. <laughs> Also, I forgot to mention that when I purchased these three Makeup Revolution products, I got a free Revolution palette, the Strobe Lighting palette, which I should try right now, right? It's all dirty already. But, um, and it comes with these three shades right here. I look a mess. Don't care right now. Look at this. Look at this glow. Oh, wow. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I hope you love this video. Please like, subscribe, share this video. Alright guys, we'll talk later. See ya!